Hey guys, it's Carl. We are recording this film right in the middle of September, Techtober. It's the craziest season of the year for all things tech. It is iPhone season, it is every tech season. But I thought I'd include a budget episode just to give you guys a couple different options um, in budget throughout the tech space. And one of the first ones that I'm actually looking at right now, I know that the GoPro Hero 11 just came out. So obviously you can see that I've got the eight, nine and 10. And these options are obviously cheaper, but I wanted to introduce KEH Camera who's sponsoring this episode. They've been an awesome partner and you can actually grab used camera gear. They are promoting GoPros for the fall and you can use GoPros for literally everything. I picked up uh, my new GT3, I picked up my new car, I have them mounted everywhere. We've recorded B-roll with them in the studio. You can get these for a fraction of the price, especially used. Every item on the KEH site has its own rating system because they're appraised depending on their condition and of course their quality and they even have their own warranty so you just have that extra peace of mind. And especially since the new Hero 11s just dropped, there won't be any used ones. Trust me, the difference isn't that much. Get one of these, um, KEH is honestly awesome and it doesn't just extend to actual camera tech or camera sensors itself. They also offer accessories. So for example, this little handy GoPro mount that I did stick on my very own car, these usually cost around $60, $65 brand new off Amazon somewhere else. You can get them for a fraction of the price and this thing is still pretty much like new. It's an accessory, it works, it's mounted. I've um, used it and I can give it my seal of approval. So fraction of the price, fraction of the price. That's our first budget item. We're gonna switch now on to iPhones because the new iPhone 14s just dropped. These are the Pataka Mag Easy Case 3s and the Pro 3s. So a couple different differences between them. This one is slightly thinner. It gives your phone a bit more of a sleeker profile. So I'll quickly pop out my 14 Pro Max here. This one is 0.95 millimeters thin and you can see that it is compatible with MagSafe, which I know is important. The phone kind of slots in and you can see that it has cutouts for all of the volume rockers on and off buttons and it does have this nice little lip on the back. So when you place down your super expensive brand new phone, the lenses don't get scratched because the last thing that you want to do is muck up that new 48 megapixel sensor. So these are made out of this cool synthetic material called Aramid fiber, which is essentially body armor. So think of body armor for your phones. Obviously you want to keep it protected. And for the Mag Easy Case Pro 3, this one has extra protection, extra thickness around the bumpers. This one's really for someone that accidentally drops their phones a lot. Not that you do that on purpose, but I know that accidents happen. So that extra reinforced uh, bumper and casing around the outsides just means that you're close to $2,000 phone if you have this exact spec is nice and protected. So definitely the Pataka cases. They also come with other accessories as well, like the Mag Easy Case wallet. And what I love about this wallet, obviously the price, this being a budget episode, this is only 25-ish dollars compared to the 45, 50 dollar one that Apple offers. You can actually see the difference here. The card cutout is on the front, which means you can access your cards way easier than on the traditional Apple wallet one, which you actually have to reach into the back where the card cutout is. So you have to remove the wallet from the case, which is kind of defeats the purpose. So this thing is super handy. It's way cheaper. That's option one. They also have for your new AirPod Pros, this little case that gives it extra protection. Once again, made in that air mid fiber material and that does give you MagSafe options on the back. They also have a car mount, which I'm rocking actually on my GT3. I've got this exact one uh, inside of there. And last but not least, you can kind of see off to the side here. So I am rocking the brand new Series 8 watch. You can see this dope little carbon fiber slash aramid fiber weave watch band that I have, which gives the new Series 8 this really unique look. So this is super lightweight. It's actually lighter or it feels lighter than the rubber case, but it gives it that premium feel. As with most Apple watch bands, they're pretty easy to kind of put in because they have the rail system and you can remove the links with the little tool included depending how thin or small or large your wrist is. So that's kind of cool. So remember, all of these are from Pataka. Once again, I will leave them linked down below. They have that really nice carbon fiber looking weave. Of course, it's that Aramid fiber, but they do help with fingerprints. You don't really see them that much. They have a nice soft touch feel, but they don't collect any lint, which I know silicone cases, they are so guilty for that. 
dope accessories. On to item number three. I think we all know how popular the new Microsoft Surface Pro 8 is, not only for back to school, but just as a tablet in general. So this is the Bridge SP Max Plus. This is an ultra rugged case for that tablet. It not only acts as a protective case, but gives it the option for a keyboard combo, which I think fully enables this device as an all-in-one. The features of this include a fully usable keyboard that has decent travel, it's backlit, you've got a nice large size trackpad that is quite clickable. But the best part is it makes this tablet lappable. And what I mean by that, the actual case, the official case that uh, Microsoft sells, it doesn't stand up on its own. And you can see this case, no matter what orientation the laptop, I'm calling it a laptop now, is in, this will stay upright. So you can actually work on your lap, on your desk. So imagine you're sitting in class, imagine you're on a work site somewhere. You can still fully use this with it open with no back kickstand. So I think that's really useful. Makes this into pretty much its own laptop. As it is magnetic, you have the option to take out the tablet and use it on its own. And once you slot that back into place, super simple, you have full access of all of the keys. So definitely something worth checking out if you have a Surface Pro 8, it's nice and rugged and trust me, I've dropped this uh, by accident a couple times outside and um, the Surface Pro 8 is still in one piece as it's nice and chunky. And of course, you just always wanna keep your devices protected. On to item number four, and I should have mentioned this with the iPhone because um, technically the iPhone 14 or 14 Pro is not budget, some of the accessories were. If you're wondering what device or what smartphone that you should get on the budget, this is the TCL 35G. This Entire device fully unlocked sells for $245. And I actually restuck the front sticker on just to show you some of the features. So 6.7 inch full AMOLED display. It's got a 50 megapixel camera, 128 gigs of storage and four gigs of RAM for 245 bucks. It's honestly hard to find um, a smartphone that works in that range. And of course this one, it's 5G enabled. I think you can actually buy some accessories on this episode that would be more expensive than getting a fully functional smartphone. So definitely I got to give a huge shout outs to uh, TCL for creating budget phones that um, still work really well out of the box. Moving on to the next item. I know that we mentioned storage and uh, this is a Lexar SSD. What I always recommend if you grab a new laptop, if you get any new device, get the lowest base storage option just because OEMs love to overcharge for storage. We'll use um, Apple as an example to upgrade from 512 gigs to a terabyte SSD will cost you three to four times what that actually costs in real life. So if you just grab this 500 gig hard drive, you can just plug this in via USB-C. It's fast enough to edit 4K files. Our team actually works off of these and we edit all these videos just using a couple devices like this. Save yourself some money. They're not too big, they're not too bulky. You can throw them in a pack. And the nice thing, you can always switch them out if you want. Speaking of our team and tech, I'm gonna try to include this in just cause it's so dope. So this is an LED light. Uh, this one is from Nanlite. It's one of their smaller ones. I know that they come in a couple different sizes, but what we've been using these for here in the studio, they just give the coolest bit of light and what's actually really dope, what I love, they do have quarter inch connectors so you can kind of thread them in anywhere, but these are also magnetic. So we have these hanging off our overhead rig. They've got a bunch of different options which you can change the strength, the intensity, and they have different modes where you can actually go into, of course, different colors. You can get strobe lights, you can get your heart's content of options. You can even change the color temperature. I think these are super handy. They are around $120. Maybe we're straying out of the budget range, but uh, just cause they're so dope, I had to kind of include these in. Switching on over to a pair of earbuds. These are the Link Buds S. They go for $125. And considering that they are name brand, they are from Sony. That's not too bad of a price. These earbuds have 360 degree reality audio. They do have active noise canceling. Their battery life is around six and a half hours per charge, 14 hours overall. And for the price and for the size, they sound half decent. These are usually some of the best budget earbuds that I recommend. Once again, you can obviously go cheaper on Amazon, get the you know, $30, $40 budget pair that uh, don't really have a name, but if you are into name brand, if you want something that sound decent, if you're into the Sony space, these could be an awesome option. On to the last two items. 
I don't think I've completed an episode of one of these budget ones without having this little Manfrotto mini tripod. It is just the bread and butter it has featured on the channel. I wanna say over a hundred times, just because you can't spend $20 in a better way if you are in the camera space, if you're into film, videography, photography, if you mount your iPhone, your camera on anything, just do yourself the favor, buy this little guy. It articulates, it sticks your camera onto a level playing field. You can vlog with it. You have so many different options for $20. I think it's honestly the best. And this little guy is from SyncWire. I actually use this a lot when I was traveling. It does have two USB-C ports that do light up uh, when it's plugged in, but there's also travel adapters that are included. This is 67 watts, so it does have enough juice to charge up a laptop and compared to the size of the Apple charger, this is way smaller. And like I said, these little adapters for traveling. So when I was in the UK and when I actually went off to Europe, these were super, super handy. So anyways, that is another budget episode wrapped up in the middle of Q4, in the middle of uh, Techtober, the craziness, the hecticness. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found some value, snagged some good deals. If you know any extra pieces of tech that people love, leave them down below. I'll probably give some of this stuff away. Cases, I've got so much junk here. Just make sure you're subbed to the channel. I should have included that at the beginning of this episode. I'm just trying to give back and trying to clear out some mess in the studio. So best of luck. Follow me on social, shameless plug. We'll catch the rest of you in one of my next vids. Peace.